Hi guys, welcome to this video on how to draw reaction profiles for exothermic and endothermic reactions. If we start off with the similarities between both reaction profiles then, both of them have energy on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. Both have reactants on the left of the reaction profile and both require heat energy to be taken in to break the bonds, making bond breaking endothermic. Now this energy taken in, the difference between our reactant energy level and the top of our curve that I've drawn here is called the activation energy, which is the energy needed to break the bonds. It's important to note that if you're asked to label the activation energy that you draw an arrow up from the energy of the reactant's line up to the center of the peak. So remember that if you're asked to draw it. Okay, now we need to move on to the difference between the two reaction profiles. So although they both have products on the right hand side, and in both of them heat energy is given out, which is the exothermic part of the reaction, the bond forming part, the height of the line is different. In an exothermic reaction, the products have less energy than the reactants. This is because more heat energy has been given out to the surroundings when the bonds are formed, than taken in when the bonds are broken. In an endothermic reaction, the products have more energy than the reactants. And this is because more heat energy is taken in from the surroundings when bonds are broken than given out when new bonds are formed. So in summary, if you want to draw a reaction profile for an exothermic reaction, make sure that the products are on the right hand side and have less energy than the reactants. In other words, the line is lower. Your explanation is that more heat energy is given out to the surroundings when new bonds are formed than taken in when bonds are broken. And if you want to draw an endothermic reaction profile, make sure that the products are on the right and they have more energy than the reactants. In other words, the line is higher. Your explanation again is that more heat energy is absorbed or taken in from the surroundings when bonds are broken than given out when new bonds are formed. That's all you need to know about reaction profiles then. So let's look at a few questions. So look at the reaction profile below and label the activation energy for part one and explain whether this reaction is exothermic or endothermic for part two. Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done when you're finished. Okay, let's go through. Remember, when labeling the activation energy, you must have an arrow going from the same level as the reactants to the center of the peak, and it must be going straight up, as you can see here. Make sure you label it as activation energy as well for your mark. For part two, you should have got that it's exothermic, so that's the first mark. The second mark is for your reasoning. And that could be either that the products have less energy than the reactants, or that more heat energy has been given out to the surroundings than taken in. Important to get that word heat energy in. And that's it for this video. I have got a review question for you, which is the identical question, but for a different reaction profile. If you want to have a go, if you want to attempt to answer it, let me know in the comments and I'll tell you if you're right or not. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.